Hello everyone. Today we'll be beginning with a new chapter. New chapter named Indigo. Now this chapter is based on the famous Champaran movement, right which was organized by Mahatma Gandhi as soon as he returned to India from South Africa. The very first movement of which he was a part. Now introduction about the author first. Louis Fisher was born in Philadelphia in 1896 he served as a volunteer in the british army between 1918 to 1920 fisher made a career as a journalist and wrote for the new york times the saturday review and for european and asian publications he was also a member of the faculty of princeton university introduction The story is based on the interview taken by Louis Fisher of Mahatma Gandhi. In order to write on him, he had visited him in 1942 at his ashram Sevagram where he was told about the indigo movement started by Gandhi ji. The story revolves around the struggle of Gandhi and other prominent leaders in order to safeguard share croppers from the atrocities of land lords Louis Fisher met Gandhi in 1942 at his ashram in Sevagram Gandhi told him that how he initiated the departure of the british from india he recalled that in 1917 at the request of raj kumar shukla a share cropper from champaran he visited the place gandhi ji had gone to lucknow to attend the annual meeting of indian national congress in the 1916 shukla told him that he had come from champaran to seek his help in order to safeguard the interest of the share croppers gandhi told him that he was busy so shukla accompanied him to various places till he consented to visit champaran his firm decision impressed gandhi ji and he promised him that he was that he would visit calcutta at a particular date and then shukla could come and take him along to champaran shukla met him at calcutta and they took a train to patna gandhi went to lawyer rajendra prasad's house and they waited for him in order to grab complete knowledge of the situation he reached Muzaffar for on 15th April 1917 he was welcomed by professor J B Kriplani and his students Gandhi was surprised to see the immense support for an advocate of home rule like him he also met lawyers who were already handling cases of share croppers as per the con- contract 15% of the peasants land holding was to be reserved for cultivation of indigo the crop of which was given to the landlord as rent the system was very oppressive gandhi ji wanted to help the share croppers so he visited the british landlord association but he was not given any information because he was an outsider he then went to the commissioner of tirhat division who threatened threatened gandhi and asked him to leave tirhat instead of returning he went to motihari here he started gathering complete information about the indigo contract he was accompanied by many lawyers one day as he was on his way to meet a peasant who was mal treated by the indigo planters he was stopped by the police superintendent's messenger who served him a notice asking him to leave Gandhi received the notice but disobeyed the order a case was filed against him many lawyers came to advise him but when he addressed they all joined his struggle and even consented to go to jail in order to help the poor peasants on the day of trial a large crowd gathered near the court it became impossible to handle them gandhi helped the officers to control the crowd gandhi gave his statement that he was not a law breaker 
but he disobeyed so he could help the peasants he was granted bail and later on the case against him was dropped gandhi and his associates started gathering all sorts of related all sorts of information related to the indigo contract and its misuse later a commission was set up to look into the matter after the enquiry was conducted the planters were found guilty and were asked to pay back to the peasants expecting refusal they offered to pay only 25% of the amount gandhi accepted this too because he wanted to free the share croppers from the binding of the indigo contract he opened six schools in champaran villages and volunteers like mahadev desai narhari parik and his son devdas taught them kasturba bai the wife of gandhi used to teach personal hygiene later on with the help of a volunteer doctor he provided medical facility to the natives of champaran thus making their life a bit better a peacemaker andrews wanted to volunteer at champaran ashram but gandhi refused as he wanted indians to learn the lesson of self reliance so that they would not depend on others gandhi ji told the writer that it was champaran's in- incident that made him think that he did not need the britishers advice while he was in his own country so this is story first of all it is named indigo now why this chapter is named indigo because it is about an indigo contract under which the peasants and farmers of champaharan were mistreated right they were maltreated by the large landlords by the large landlords and planters it was a contract through which these farmers and these uh, you know these peasants were suppressed now what was this contract all about it was all about the plantation of indigo on 15% of land holdings now indigo was considered to be a cash crop by the britishers right it was a cash crop it was in huge demand in the european market right and it strayed it helped people earn a lot of money so the european planters they wanted they were forcing indian farmers to grow indigo on their land now the in, uh, uh, these farmers right these fa- indigo uh, th- uh, these farmers firstly they didn't wanted to grow indigo on their land the reason was right the indigo plantation it left soil unfer- infertile right the fertility of the soil slowly and slowly declined due to the plantation of indigo so the indian farmers they didn't wanted to go indigo any more on their land but the british officials considering the profit the considering the amount of profit which they earned uh, earned uh, earned from the plantation of indigo they had kept a condition a uh, uh, condition in front of indian farmers that they will they'll, they'll be provided with loans they'll be provided with other kind of facilities only when they plant indigo on 15% of their land and this 15% of indigo 15% of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the indigo which was grown on this 15% of land right uh, uh, the, the the farmers they used to get any payment uh, they used to hardly get any payment for it right so unnecessarily firstly the farmers didn't wanted to grow indigo they were opposing the plantation of indigo but since it was a cash crop it it helped in earning a lot of profit the european planters and other bigger landlords they forced indian farmers and peasants to plant indigo on 15% of their land holdings if the uh, uh, peasants and farmers they refused they were for uh, uh, if the farmers they refused to go uh, to grow uh, to grow indigo right then what uh, uh, what uh, pressure was put they were they were not given any kind of loans right the facility they were not provided with any kind of basic facility also the, so the farmers they had to finally grow indigo on 15% of their land holdings and they barely used to get any money for that amount of indigo so this was a kind of indigo contract which existed in champaran right 
which existed in champaran and the uh, and the farmers they were in, uh, you know uh, somewhere because you know they they hardly used to get any payment for it and they were going under huge losses so the farmers of you know one of the farmer one of the share cropper he approached mahatma gandhi in 1917 he approached mahatma gandhi nine, uh, he approached mahatma gandhi and asked him to visit champaran when gandhi ji visited champaran he got a lot of support from the people right and he began to you know look deeper into the matter right he uh, he met with the lawyers who were uh, who were already handling this case he tried to gather a lot of information but every time he turned towards the british officials they simply declined saying that he was an outsider and he would not be allowed to he he will not be allowed to access any information from the department so gandhi ji from one or the other sources he he tried to gather information about this indigo uh, contract which has made the life of the champaharan farmers worst right and during his research even you know a warning notice was given to the uh, uh, given to mahatma gandhi from the british end that he must leave champaran immediately but gandhi ji disobeyed and because of which he was even arrested and he was uh, he was arrested and you know represented in front of the court the day he was being represented in front of the court a large crowd has gathered in front of the court in support of mahatma gandhi seeing the support the immense support with which mahatma gandhi received from the people the case against you know bail was granted to him and case against him was dropped gandhi ji he built six schools in champaran and later on you know he made people he he made people uh, um, uh, people uh, he made people learn how to become self reliant right so he totally immersed into the you know uh, you know you can say he totally em- immersed in the thought of making champaharan people more self reliant he wanted the indian people to become self reliant they should not depend on others for any activity they should they should be self productive so he had built how many schools six schools in champaharan so that he could somewhere you know contribute in changing the lives of the people of champaharan now class what you will do is you will first of all go through this chapter once go through the chapter read the chapter thoroughly right if any confusion is there you are free to raise your question in the whatsapp group it's all about the champaran movement the indigo contract and how the peasants and farmers were suffering because of this contract and what role did mahatma gandhi play in helping the people of champaran the chapter is all about that and your homework is to draw a story board for the chapter indigo thank you